So we're diving back into ranked duels with Odd Eyes with a brand new Wisdom Magician and Penned Call and Raging Dragon and Cosmol Dark Lady because it's kind of cool having a negate you can pen someone out for free in this deck. Now, we are in Legend 5, we're on our King of Games kind of climb, and we've been here three times, and every time we've been here is because I've been misplaying so, so badly. In this hand, let's go and scale this up. We're going to get a Yugo, so probably going to be Speedroid, but the skill didn't trigger, so I don't think it's actually Speedroid, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's go play our Raging Pendulum, and go and add to our extra deck the copy of the Odd Eyes, and I guess a rank 4 for next turn. Right, go 1. Let's go for... Uh, let's go for the... Uh, I guess we'll go for Wisdom Eye, right? No point in really having it in our, in our hand at the moment. We can then go and summon to the Odd Eyes, and then go 1, 2, summon to you 2. Let's go make a very decent-ish board, right? So 1, in for Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. 2, in for Dragon Pit. 3, in for our Dark Lady, which is going to be a nice little negate. And 4, because we can normal summon him, our Coin Dragon. Now I'm going to go instead and make the Volfernigis, and just summon into you. 1, 2, and now I've got a pop to go into. And we're just going to end on the Coin Dragon to give him some protection, some more attack points, and hopefully that's going to be enough, right? Let's play Pendragon. Let's go pop to search for a... I guess we'll go for a Wisdom Eye, because I could be a search for a low scale or for an Oath Dragon next turn. So let's see you go. Can you defeat a pop and a negate? Probably is the answer, probably. Are you serious? Are you actually serious? Dark, dark hole. At least Volfernigi stays on the field. Top deck in the dark hole. I guess if we pop the right card here, then we're good. If we, if he goes for clear wing, then we can pop it because it doesn't, you know, it's, it's not it going to be negating it because it's not a level. Normal summoning the Phantom Sky Blaster. Oh boy. So if we just hit this, then I think he's dead, right? We just attach you two, and I think you can't really do anything, right? Because you got summon tokens. Ups, we control. You control nothing. You get no tokens, I gain attack points, and hopefully you've not got an orchestrated return in hand to discard. Of course, you wouldn't be playing speed roids, would you? You'd be playing Orcust. Because that's all Dorlinx has kind of devolved into right now, it's just Orcust everywhere. And that's a free win for us. Okay, very nice. And there's a Cosmo Dark Lady, very cool. Let's go and set the pen scale, let's go and use the Effective Wisdom Eye to go and grab, I guess we'll go for an Oath Dragon, because we can do, right? So Oath Dragon, grab you, set you. We can then bring one back to our hand if we really want to, so we can go and add back, I guess we'll go for one of the Wisdom Eyes, and then we can go and pend out three cards, and on to the next game, I guess. So here we go, next game versus a US Akaki, probably going to be a mirror match, Raging Pend versus Raging Pend, we're going to be going second, of course we are. That seems pretty normal for me at this point, it's just to be going second in the mirror match, but we'll see. We've got Raging Pend. They've not got Raging Pendulum. Okay, it could be that it's not the Shanky the Shang Sheng skill either. So, do not be all cussed. <laughs> Please don't also be all cussed. That would just be incredibly dull. But we've opened very good, right? We've got Cosmic for the back row. It's Fluffles playing Yuya, or Yuya playing Fluffles. Okay. Uh, this is also all cussed. I'm pretty sure this will also be all cussed as well. One for one, Fluffer Wings gonna be banishing you and of course banishing the bear to draw one card and then Toy Bender gives him another draw and he's now back up to four cards in hand, not really wasting resources, adding a bear as well to hand. Let's just see how where we can go from here, right. And a second Toy Vendor. Okay. Okay, he's, he's, he's doing all the drawing, adding the Dot Scaper. He's adding a free body, Dot Scaper when it's sent to the graveyard, I believe brings itself back out, right? Yes, it can do. So I think you're on you're an Orcast, aren't you? You're playing Orcast. Banishing Dot Scaper. To summon Gigant to summon Gigantes. What is going on? What, what is going on? What, what what is happening here? Okay, no, two two months on board. Here we go. Here comes Orcast. No, here comes Mrs. Radiant. And a Ma Amano Iwato Smile World. Monster of X cannot be activated. So uh, that would be a bit of an issue, right, uh, for us, because we want to summon some big dragons, and we kind of can't. However, it doesn't matter because we've got pen scales, and it doesn't really... We could just summon beefy boys and attack over. So it really doesn't phase us at all. Let's go set our scales. We'll go and set another dragon pit in scale as well. 
And then, yeah, we'll just, just go and do the usual. We'll play our skill. I'm shocked it's not Orcust. I'm happily surprised it's not Orcust. But, uh... <laughs> this is kind of equally as weird, I guess. You could say it's weird. Um, do we go for the Dweller, or do we go for like a Darker Burn or something? Um, or do we go for... I don't I don't actually know what we go for here. Um, because we can go... I guess, like, summon out is going to be one, two, three, four. So it doesn't really matter. Um, we could make a, a dragon. We could go for a level 7, actually. Is probably the play. Yeah. Let's go for a 7. Let's go and pend. Or not pend. Activate the effect, sorry. And add to hand the lovely odd eyes. And then we can just go and pend out a bunch of bodies. So we can go pend out you in the field. We can then go and bring out 1, 2, and then 3. And we still have a normal summon. So that's great. So we can go pend for 1. Summon out you. And then bring out as well our Cosmo Duck Lady. That's negate for next turn. We've then got the odd eyes come out as well. And we can then go and make for next turn. We can make our Volfernigis, right? So no destruction this turn, but for next turn, it is actually live. So that's going to be very cool. Summon you, and then we'll go and play our Coin Dragon just to give our dragon some more attack points. And thank God we opened this one. Not going to play Cosmic yet. I think we're going to kind of leave the field spell up. But this should be a pretty straightforward game, right? So we'll go uh, attack into this with the Odd Eyes, right? Yep, deal double damage, 2,000. Attacking with the Volfernigis, that's going to be a lovely 1,100. And then Cosmo for game. There we go, on to the next one. Next game is a Yami Yuki. This could be literally any deck under the sun. It could be Orcus, could be Dar Magician, could be whatever they want. And we're going first, thank you. Now show me. It's not Gandora. It's Dark Magician. It's 30 card Dark Magician, so we're going to get hard sacked, 100%. And this ain't the most awful hand in the world, right? But it's definitely not the best one. So let's go Joker. Joker can go and search for, uh, we need a kind of a high scale, right? So I guess I'll go for the, uh, the Dragon Pit. And we will 100% set the, um, I guess we'll set the Oath. Dragon in first, and we'll then go and play Wisdom Eye, and Wisdom Eye can then go and set another Dragon Pit, and then we'll be fine, right? Yeah, so let's go Wisdom Eye. We're gonna go and set a Dragon Pit from the deck, and we'll then go and play our skill, and then go and dump to our deck the Odd Eyes, and uh, for next turn, do I want to grab anything else? I guess we'll go for the Dragon Pit, and then we'll go and activate the effect of our Oath Dragon, and go and add the Dragon Pit to our hand. I guess that's what we'll do, and then we've got scales for next turn. Um, that we're going to summon out now anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but uh, let's go 1-2, and then I guess we'll go for uh, the Coin Dragon, uh, and I think that'll be fine, right? Um, no, actually no, we want another one, so yeah, we'll go for the this one, yep, 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 there we go, that's fine. There's our Pen Dragon, and then there is our Coin Dragon, and here is our Dragon Pit Magician as well. So, we've of course got the Volo we can go into, which is like, very easy. The problem with Dark Magician and the Magician's Magic build is that you do need to kind of interrupt their first port of call, uh, which is going to be their normal summon, right? And so, given they can just summon Dark Magician, it's also really, really dog. You've got Dweller for the graveyard. Does Dean use the graveyard really? Not really. Uh, Roach, I guess, could be useful, but for like maybe Prentice or something? You know what, I think I'm going to leave it at that, because we've got double protection for our Volfernigis, right? And if those die, the next turn they go back to the scales, we can then bring them back to the hand if we want to, uh, and then potentially, like, resummon the Joker, I guess, would be a thing. The Roach also is kind of useless, because there's no inherent summons apart from Apprentice, so I guess, I don't even know if Apprentice works in that way. You would still also probably get the special, like, the search off for the DM. It's at Grave... Hello? Gravekeepers? Okay, so you're just going to turn off the graveyard anyway, so that's fine by me. I am so shocked at what this could be. Necro Valley Throne is going to add a Gravekeeper from deck to hand. The fusion is kind of annoying because it like protects itself and so does the, the field spell, right? And this kind of gets you there. But we could just pop this with this, right? The Scars to Summon Apprentice, right? Okay, that was, that, that was obviously coming. I probably should have gone for the Roach, and here comes a DM. Now, the thing here is that do you have the circle in hand? You don't. Okay, right, we're going to detach you, and we're just going to blow that up. Just going to blow that up. Gain attack points. 
Um, I'm going to put it on the thing and you're just going to quit. <laughs> okay, on to the on to the next one. That was the weirdest DM deck I've seen. This is what I like to see, a Sedo Kyber of Blue Eyes, which means we're going to get sacked beyond belief because it's going to happen, right? It's going to happen. We're both on a win streak. He's on two. I'm on three. Go on, show me Ultima Dragons. You've got the playmat and the sleeves look cool. You're playing on my dragons. And we're going second. And we've opened, actually, like, having protection from that is actually not too bad. It is just the, uh, you know, the whole um, karma cuts that can be very annoying. Setting a back row. Cosmic. One time. Cosmic one time. Cosmic one time. Cosmic one time. Oh, it's just too easy. It's just too easy. Cosmic. Hear the back row. Come on, there we go. There, there we go. There we go. Come on, get rid of it. Get, get rid of the karma cut. <laughs> so, that was such an easy read. Here comes Pencil. Pencil discarding the Wisdom Eye. Gonna go and grab the Dragon Pit. And I'll go for the Dragon Pulse as well. Grab you two. And then from here, we're just kind of uh, GGing, right? Uh, so, let's set the Oath Dragon in the scale. Let's go and set the Dragon Pit in the scale. This is very, very linear, but I, I enjoy it to high hell. Uh, let's go play the skill. Let's go and grab our odd eyes as, as well, and we can, we've can we got a more of a, a rank 4 focused hand this time round, and we've got a waiting for a response, it's always nice to see. Is it going to end in a free win? I think it is, it is, okay. Okay, Kai, but okay, connection failed, you just like unplugged your router, disconnected your computer. On to the next one, let's see. I, this might be the rank up, this, this is going to, which means I'm going to lose it. Right, because it's happened like the last three times. Happened with speedroids, happened with eyes before, and now it happened again. And we're going against a legend rank five as well. So, oh no. Okay, here we go. It's a Jaden. I do not like Jadens because they always top deck open the super poly. Going first, it's they're on a losing streak, and we're on a rank up. They've got the the Nordic playmat though, which is really nice. It's one of like the better, uh, more simpler playmats in the game. Right, let's go scale the Oath Dragon. Uh, we've got the, the negate coming out as well, right? So, oh, don't, don't set that. Oh my god, that was that was almost the end of the game. Oh my god, right. Let's go Wisdom Eye. Pop you, and we're going to go and set the Dragon Pit Magician. There we go. Let's then play our skill. And go for... We want to make a rank for here, right? Uh, let's go for the... Oh, it's, I, don't, I don't have the negate in my deck, do I? Uh, so, Odd Eyes, and then a rank 4 target. So, I guess we'll go for the Dragon Pit. And then we'll go and play our skill. To go and add back to our hand the dragon pulse whatever pit pulse same bloody thing at this point and then we'll pend into an odd eyes into a cosmo an odd eyes and no and this and this right the coin dragon right so we've got protection of fernigies and this and the problem is opening super poly that is the big big problem with this is them opening super poly because we've got all dark targets and it's not very fun when they do. So put you in defense and kind of hope and pray that they don't have access to Super Bolly. But we all know they're going to. So. Ah, uh, it's so rough. This would be the final game. But maybe maybe they'll brick like, like every other players that we face tonight is bricked. Um, we could also go for, actually, think about it. Hmm. 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 So Dweller in the Graveyard would shut down. Let's go for the Roach. You know, I don't really want to do it, but, like, I feel like I've got to have, like, at least something in case he does go for a different kind of special summon. But he can just summon Neos for free anyway. We've got a negate. They've got Super Poly, right? So they can make their, uh, their hero. And they're just going to scoop. Well, this has been the easiest King of Games of my life. Just, just straight up. All that struggling for, like, you know, hours with speedroids and that we did yesterday and now we just hit it with five games that were really really not all that challenging it took what it took 20 minutes less than that if you get rid of me kind of thinking about stuff okay well you know at least i can say in the video title king of games decklist right you know i'm not i'm not lying it happened you all saw it happen so in terms of the decklist it is pretty straightforward odd eyes but there is a big change in it in we're playing the Cosmo Dark Lady. She is a free monster negate every single turn. Well, free, you pay a thousand. But she's very good. Because what it means is that if you have a board with this and with your Steelstorm Roach, then they've got to prioritize the Roach or this to kind of book a moon. And so, one way or another, 
you're either going to be stopping like if you're doing for the synchro summoning, you either stop the synchro summon, or you stop the summon of their tuner that then does things, or like the summon of like the double yo-yo to bring back the card from the graveyard. It gives you more options, and I really, really like it. But yeah, I, I wish we could have like you know summoned into Rage and Dragon and, and summoned into Trisha Zero Dragon because you do do that, and they're very fun when you do that. But but that was just the easiest King of Games climb I've had. So uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.